Okay, in this video, we have some useful tips for using Google Keep. So, <clears throat> when you go to Google Keep, you can access it through your Waffle. Scroll down to find it. It's right here. Or, like any any uh, app in G Suite, you type the name of the app.google.com. So, this would be keep.google.com. Again, easy way to access it. So, once you're here on Keep, again, I'm right now using the dark mode. Um, if you're not, if you don't, your screen doesn't look exactly like mine, you're using the the normal mode. I'm using the uh, the dark mode setting. It's just what I prefer. Um, <clears throat> so, at the very top of your page on Keep, you're going to see the Take Note menu right here. So if you just click in there, you're going to start a new note, and you can type a regular text, <clears throat> type a normal text note, just like you type anything. And then right above here, you can give it a title, I'll call this test note. And when I hit close, it's now going to be right here down the, below with all the rest of my notes. Uh, <clears throat> so that, that's not the only kind of note that you can take. You can also create what's called the checkbox note. Uh, so there's two ways to get to a checkbox note. You can start immediately by clicking the checkbox icon right here. Or if you just start typing, you can <clears throat> go ahead and add the checkboxes using the three, the three dot menu right here. And go show checkboxes. And now... We can title this here my to do list, and I could <clears throat> I could type a kind of a to do list right here that as I um, <clears throat> as I, I accomplish these tasks here I can I check it off and it gets it gets moved down to the bottom uh, right right about here with the line through it and so in that it's been done. Okay, so on a note, you can also set what's called a time-based reminder. So right here at the bottom left corner, you have a reminder button here. And it gives you some, some um, generic ones here for later today, 8 p.m., tomorrow, 8 a.m., next week, Monday at 8 a.m. Or you can be very specific by clicking the pick date and time. And I can choose the date. Let's see. And put any time that I like. Again, it gives me some, some pre-made options. Or I can go to custom. And I can simply just type in... I can type that in there. You can set it to repeat if you want to. You want you can make it repeat. If you don't want, you just want it to be a one-time reminder, you just click save. And now I have a time-based reminder. So I can also change the color of <clears throat> of these uh, of these notes here by clicking on this little template right here. This little uh, color template change color button, and I can change it to any color that I like. If color coding is your thing. Now, in addition to doing a time-based reminder, I can also do a location-based reminder. When this really wor works well, if you if you have Google Keep on your phone, and for this to work, you'll need to have the location settings uh, enabled on your mobile device. So, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this time-based reminder real quick. I'm going to go back to my reminder button, and what I'm going to do, <clears throat> is I'm going to click the little back button here. Instead of choosing pick date and time, I'm going to hit pick place. All right, so let's try Save Mart Supermarkets. Let's choose one here, closer to my house. There we go. And I click Save, and now you see the little pin right here that says Save Mart. You hover over it to kind of shows you the address. So what this means is that when I get to the parking lot of this place, my phone will uh, will buzz with a notification opening that will allow me to open up this note when I get there so I can have my little uh, to-do list or grocery list, whatever, um, right at a glance so as soon as I get there. So a time-based reminder, very useful little uh, thing done here with Google Keep. Now, in addition, you, you can also share notes like you can with Google Docs and Slides and Sheets, etc. You can share notes with people. Now, whatever reminders that you put, um, do not get shared over to the person. They have to set those themselves. So you can't put a location-based reminder, and when you share it, they also get it. They have to set it to themselves. So the share button's right about here. It says collaborators. And I can type someone's name. <clears throat> there we go. Put in their email address. Hit save. And just like that, <clears throat> you can see all the people that you uh, share this, from this uh, note with. <clears throat> so you can also access, I'm going to close this down here, you can access Keep in a variety of other apps. So if I'm going to go to my Gmail here, over here on the right side I have a toolbar. So you have a little button here for Keep. So you can have it at a glance right here. You don't need to go to Keep. You can check out all your, all your Keep notes here at a glance, scroll up and down, and you can uh, have an access to them while you're working in your email. Same thing when you're working with your um, in Google Calendar. 
Okay, right about here. You also see it. There's keep. I can also check keep without having to go to keep. It's on it's on my little side menu once it loads up there. Uh, you can also see it <clears throat> when you are working in Google Docs. So I'm going to start a new Google Doc here. And you'll see that I, any note that I have in keep can be imported directly onto my doc. So when I open up the keep side menu here, again, if, uh, if I want to put this to-do list on there, I, click, I hover over the th click the uh, three little dot menu, add the document, and it gets immediately put right onto my document. This also works for Google Slides and Sheets. So just a few little ways that you can access Keep at a glance um, from uh, other apps uh, outside of Google Keep.